This has been a weird week. I went ghost hunting with Stormy Daniels. Then I was on Sasha Gray's show, Gray Area. And then I used a Ouija board on Halloween night. And I think I made contact with my mom. Delightfully weird. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I'm someone who doesn't believe that the Ouija board is evil. It's a tool, very similar to what paranormal investigators use out there on the field, like K2 meters, spirit boxes, things like that. I haven't had a negative experience with the Ouija board. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and be sure to click on that notification bell so that you'll know immediately when I post a new video. I put out a new video every Monday evening. And be sure to click on the description to see the latest news and links. I put a ton of paranormal content each week on my Facebook page, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, basically everywhere. You name it, I'm there. Also, you can find more paranormal blogs on my website at thespookystuff.com. Like I said, it's been a weird week. Let me tell you about it. So I'm gonna go in chronological order. Let's go. First, let's talk about Stormy Daniels. A few weeks ago, I wrote a blog about how Stormy Daniels was working on a new paranormal show. This is something she is 100% producing herself. And after I posted that blog, reactions were mixed. A lot of the comments were really misogynistic and a lot of gatekeeping comments. I mean, come on. Here's the thing, I think everyone is welcomed in the paranormal community. Cause you know, para-unity, right? There's a seat at the paranormal table. And if you want, come sit next to me. And about a week or so later, an opportunity landed in my lap. And that opportunity was to help Stormy Daniels with her tech while she was in Asheville, North Carolina. I took the opportunity because it was amazing. And I'm thrilled that she's working on a female-led show. Because let's face it, there's not a lot of female-led shows on TV. They're either co-hosted with a female or they're in the cast, but not like the lead or the main investigator. So I met with her, we investigated, I set up her tech. It was amazing. Stormy is truly incredible. She has had a lot of experience in the paranormal. And a lot of these experiences people don't know about because she wasn't public about it. Also, Stormy is extraordinarily gifted. She has abilities. Stormy made sure that she never tainted herself before going into the building, and she nailed it with her readings. And often her hits would correlate with the equipment going off too, which was really interesting. And also she has an adorable haunted doll named Susan who is... Amazing too, very sassy. I learned a lot that night investigating with Stormy Daniels. So this was Tuesday. So Stormy, welcome to the paranormal community. Please stay a while. Ironically, also on Tuesday, I was contacted by a casting director about being a remote call-in for Sasha Gray's show. And it's co-hosted by rapper Dumbfounded and rapper Trinidad James was the guest for the show. Considering I've always made my media appearances on paranormal-centric shows, and sometimes local news, this was a really great opportunity. Sasha Gray is very famous, and I thought it was a little ironic because she and Stormy came from the same industry. And this was not a paranormal show, this was actually a mental health-centric show. So this was an opportunity for me to represent the paranormal community in a professional way and tell a ghost story for their Halloween special. So I talked to the casting director on Tuesday, the show was Friday. So now we're at Halloween. This may be the main reason why you're watching. So my team and I talked and we wanted to see each other on Halloween, somehow. COVID has really messed up Halloween plans for a lot of people. It was gonna be a full moon, it was Samhain, and it was going to be a blue moon too. So very significant, very spiritual. We socially distanced, we wore masks. It was great, it was a great evening. And we were all socially distanced and separated by households. And we did a full moon ritual. So my case manager made her own Ouija board. It's a marvel to look at, it's beautiful. We decided to live stream our Ouija board session. My boyfriend Chris and I went first. Things started fairly normally. It was a lot of awkward sitting with our fingertips on the on the planchette and it was a lot of waiting. Weird thing is I could feel the planchette trying to move, but it was like it was stuck. And then we found out Chris was pushing down a little too hard on it. Once our touch lightened up, I asked, is there anyone here with us? And the planchette moved to yes. It moved very slowly. I could tell my boyfriend was getting a little bit nervous. And then I asked, what's your name? As soon as the planchette went to J, I got nervous. J names are very prominent in my family. And then I got even more nervous when the planchette went to O. Then it went to no, J-O, no. Hmm. Well, and I kept saying, I, th I think it might be who I think it is. And then it went to no, all right. Then it went to N and I immediately got on high alert. Mm, okay. 
Now it's on N. Oh, I got oh some, boy. I got some chills, man. Oh boy. Wow. I know who it is. Uh, I don't know who it is. Uh, Hi, Mom. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, it's my mom. It's spelled my mom's name. Um, okay. It spelled my mom's name, Jonda. I did have a few paranormal experiences with my mom after she died. The more recent one happened in Gettysburg and I had a meltdown. I was crying so hard that I could not even speak. Now this time I was so taken aback that I was drawing a blank when it came to asking questions. Like I could not think of a question to ask. So then I asked my mom if there was anyone with her and she said yes but it wasn't my grandma or grandpa. Now, granted, I did just say, is grandpa with you? Is grandma with you? And I didn't specify whether I was talking about her grandpa or my grandpa, her grandma or my grandma. I probably should have asked her to spell the name of who was with her. And I asked her if she was well, and the planchette moved to yes, which I was very happy about. And then I got stumped again. I was glad my mom was doing well. So I told my mom that I found her crystals, her pendulums, oracle cards, and how I was glad she was diving into that. I've said before, my my mom was very conservative Christian. I couldn't even have anything remotely related to ghosts or the occult into, in the house. So this was pretty significant. And again, I started drawing a blank. You think of all these things you would ask your lost loved ones if you ever got a chance to see them again. And then once the moment happens, it's drawing a blank. I was drawing a blank. And then someone suggested I should ask her if there was anything I needed to know. And the planchette moved to no, so great. I asked her if she was there to say hi and she said yes. And that's when I told her that I loved her and I missed her. I asked her if there was anyone else with her right now and she said no. So I guess whoever was with her left. And then I asked her if it was her who talked to me in Gettysburg on Mother's Day in 2017 and she said yes. Great, good to have that validation. And then finally I did think of a question. I asked her what she thought of Chris and my boyfriend was like what <laughs> and then the board spelled g-o-t-a-g-o-o-d-o-n-e which spells out got a good one well here's a question for you what do you think of Chris <laughs> he's like why are you asking this is that a g g okay I'm not sure which one this is fine. That is an O. Oh, okay. T. T. G O T. Got some something. Got uh so got the G O T A. Someone writing this down or spelling it. G O T A G, G O Oh, okay. G O O. I think she's saying got a good one. Yeah, D. Yeah. G O O D. Oh, or yeah. That's an O. Okay. Yeah, that's what she's selling. Oh, Chris. Oh. 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 She approves of you. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it actually has been the big question I wanted to know. <laughs> She approves of my boyfriend, which means a lot to me. I met him nine months after she died, so he never got a chance to meet my mother. I told my mom she could come and visit anytime to not be a stranger, but also don't scare Chris. And she went to yes. And I asked her if she was still here. The board just kind of sat there. I think it went to no, if I remember correctly. So that was interesting. I was rattled. Chris was rattled. We were all very rattled and everyone had chills. One of my team members said that when I was asking 
her to spell her name, she kept hearing a j, j. And the live chat also had comments about shadows and orbs, but I think that might have been explainable, maybe. And this just goes to show you that our loved ones are always with us. Even after they pass, they're still with us. And on Halloween night, the veil is thinner. So my mom wasn't too far away at all. And I don't think she's far away, really. And then Chris also told me that when I'm not home, he talks to her ashes. So I think she's known him all along and she finally had a chance to respond. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. And I hope this video gave you a positive perspective on the Ouija board. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And also, I slept like a baby when I got home. So no disturbances, maybe a little anxiety early in the morning, but nothing out of the ordinary. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next round.